Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my TBR for the month of June. June is going to be my summer of love TBR. I will be reading contemporary romances this month and then whatever the TBR box gods give me. Yay. I was originally not planning to do any readathons this month but round four of the buzzwordathon is this month and it just so happens that this month's word is in three of the titles that I already had on my TBR so I figured well, why not? So let's get started with my regular TBR. The first book is Not Now Not Ever by Lily Anderson. This book follows a girl by the name of Elliot who decides that she's going to spend her summer by running away and going to an academic summer camp rather than staying at home or going to one of the two places that her parents want her to go. She has decided that she wants to go to this academic summer camp and try to get a scholarship to this specific college and while she is at the summer camp she decides that she wants to also go by a new name and kind of have a new start. Unfortunately for her, her genius level cousin also decides to go to this summer camp and so she has to figure out how to maneuver around that obstacle. Next is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This is the first book in the summer series. I know that this book follows a girl named Belly. Belly. And basically her and her family have always went to a summer vacation with one of her parents friends families and their two sons and there's some romance involved and it's a three book series and I that's all I know. We're gonna skip the second book in that series and you'll see it come up again later but the third book in that series is We'll Always Have Summer. So book one, book three, you'll see book two later. Next is For the Record by Charlotte Huang. This book follows a girl who loses a singing competition but gets an offer to join a band and go on a cross-country tour over the summer and the band doesn't really like her but a guy who is popular from another band does like her and she has a crush on someone in her band and so I'm sure there's some kind of a weird love triangle going on and essentially she has the summer to convince not only the band that she's in but the fans that she should be in the band permanently otherwise she's gonna have to go back to her school and do her summer year and be boring. Next is This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. This book follows a girl who has to have a heart transplant and she wants to talk to the family of the person who donated their heart. She learns that it was a boy from her school who supposedly killed himself. She runs into the boy's brother who doesn't believe that he killed himself and the two of them kind of go on this journey together to figure out what actually happened with the brother and those two I think start to fall in love a little bit. Next we have The Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson. This is a follow-up to 13 Little Blue Envelopes. I read last year I believe so I won't talk about this book but the first book follows a girl on a journey across Europe searching out envelopes that her aunt left her after she died. Um, basically having her journey across Europe on a journey that her aunt went on when she was younger and trying to find herself. And then we have On the Fence and The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. I actually didn't look and see what these two were about but I just know they're short contemporary romance reads by Casey West. I haven't read any Casey West but I've heard that they're decent so figured I'd give them a shot. Then we get to the buzzwordathon reads and for that I will probably do a separate video as well but I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm planning on reading and I might add more in by then depending on what I have read at that point. First I have The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You. By the way the buzzwordathon word is you this time around. This book is about a girl and a boy who have best friends who start dating but these two don't really like each other and so they kind of have to pretend like they like each other so they can hang around their friends and then I think maybe they do start to like each other. I'm not really sure but that's why I'm gonna read the book. It has returned. The second book of the summer series is It's Not Summer Without You which is why it's gonna be on the readathon. And with the word being you, you, yours, your, and so I'll also be reading By Your Side by Casey West. So that's 11 books that I picked for me. Now let's see what the TBR box gods are going to give me. So this side is my books that I had pre-2018. This side is books that I have post-2018, um, just singularly based off of when I purchased them. So we're going to start with pre-2018 and see what we get. 
it'll probably be something I've already read. <gasps> Throne of Glass. Yeah, I've already read that, so. I guess I could read the next book in the series, but not nah, picking Because then what will I do when I get that? Read the next book in the series? That'd be no fun. Apparently my hand likes blue today. Emma, which is Emma by Jane Austen. I'm like, Emma? Who's Emma? Emma. So I guess that means we're going to be reading Emma by Jane Austen. Yay me! Classics. That's what I wanted this month. The TBR gods are not on my side. Okay. Flip this baby around. Get to post 18. And we get... <laughs> I don't want to... Fine. The Handmaid's Tale. I don't wanna. Damn you, TBR box. I was trying to have a light, fun, summery group of reads and you gotta give me two fucking classics. Thanks for that. On the bright side, I have no new releases coming out in June that I plan to read. Um, there are some June releases but I don't plan on reading them right away, so no biggie. And I have no carryover from May because it's impossible to have carryover from May because everything had to either be read or on halt. So these are the 11 books that I will be reading in the month of June. Wish me luck, okay? That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekend. So if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you want to see more of what I have going on, make sure you subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!